Hi everybody. Last night at our dance, somebody asked me a question about ballroom shoes. How do you buckle ballroom shoes? And she said the magic words. I googled it and I couldn't find anything. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to buckle ballroom shoes that have this special kind of quick release buckle that you don't see on other shoes. I have two examples to show you. This one is a regular shoe that has a regular kind of buckle like you would see on a street shoe. The buckling part is on the shoe. The strap has the holes in it. You buckle this kind of shoe exactly the way you would buckle any other shoe. I have street shoes that buckle exactly like this. Put the strap through, find the hole, find the hole, there we go. Put the end of the strap through the buckle, and you're done. The downside to this type of buckle, as you can see, is that every time you put the shoe on and off, you have to fiddle with this tiny little buckle. So a lot of ballroom shoes have a different kind of buckle, which is this little quick release widget. On the shoe, instead of the buckle part being on the shoe, there's this clip. The buckle part stays on the end of the strap. The way this works is that you set the buckle part where you want it on the shoe. The strap sits in the clip so that the buckle butts up against it. If my foot were in this shoe, the, my foot would be holding the strap in place so that there's tension created to hold the buckle up against the clip and the shoe stays on. The nice thing about this type of shoe is that once you get that buckle set where you want it, it's really easy to take your shoes on and off because all you have to do is slide it in and slide it out. It's a lot nicer than messing with a buckle of this size every time. If you get your shoes and you put them on and you put the clippy buckle in place and the shoe is too loose and floppy, then what you can do is just take this buckle part and move it up to another hole. Makes the strap shorter. Then when you clip the shoe onto your foot, it should be tight enough. If you have really skinny feet, you might even have to cut extra, punch extra holes in your straps, which you can definitely do. The other recommendation that I would make, um, once you have your buckle where you want it on your shoe, you can see I've already done this on these shoes, you can cut off the extra strap. I actually went to a workshop once upon a time where the pro who was teaching it uh, was somebody who had also done a lot of judging and competitions, and he said he hated to see women who had you know, three inches of extra strap coming off the back of their shoe. It just gives kind of a neater look when your strap end just sits on the back of the heel of your shoe without sticking way out the back, back here. So you can do that once you know you have the strap where you want it. So this is the way you buckle this kind of shoe. Put the buckle part where you want it. Slip it into the clip so that the buckle sits behind the clip. You see where the clip is? When you have it on, the clip should ride right up against the buckle, like so, and that will hold your shoe in place. You can take it on and off really easily with this kind of buckle. I hope this helps. Bye.